That relief coming in the form of an arrest tonight for that family. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Bellamy. And I'm Ron Jones. Just after the police made that announcement about the arrest in 11 lives, John Sherrick spoke with a woman's partner. He joins us live at Grady Hospital right now. John. Her partner tells me over the phone, and he was speaking from just outside her hospital room here at Grady, that she and their newborn son are going through a tough recovery after that random horrific attack this past Saturday. But he says they are both fighters. She's just 99 pounds of dynamite. Words of admiration and love and hope. She's progressing. She's the strongest woman I've, I've ever met. From the partner of the woman attacked, stabbed at random, seriously wounded this past Saturday. While she was walking in Brookhaven with their three-year-old son, she was five months pregnant. Doctors had to perform an emergency C-section. Their newborn son, two and a half pounds at delivery, is in critical condition. Every day, is a roller coaster. Both parents are teachers, now facing massive medical bills. Nicole, her friend from childhood, in just a few days has raised tens of thousands of dollars online, knowing that the mom and the baby will need many times that. And he is a little fighter, just like his mama. <sighs> you know, this can happen to anyone. My friend is very smart, very brave, very well aware. Unfortunately, the world we live in today, we need to be extra safe, extra careful, and just be out there for each other and look out for each other and just keep supporting each other. They are grateful to police and to people they've never met who are supporting them now. And I wanna say for anyone doubting humanity or trust in people, I just want you to realize that there is so much goodness in people and you can't lose that faith. They are hoping she'll be able to come home soon from the hospital, but they expect the baby will have to be in the ICU for months. Ron. Yeah, we wish the best for that family. Thanks a lot, John. So, folks, we're going to talk about how police found 30-year-old Christopher Jones. He was arrested near the Marta Arts Center station. Brookhaven police say Jones is homeless and did admit to the stabbing. They believe a mental illness may have played a role in all of this. Officers say Jones tried to talk to the mom while she was walking on that trail, but when she kept walking, he allegedly stabbed her in the back. Jones is now facing several charges. He's expected in court tomorrow.